come follow along with me. Let's go to Matthew 25, 34 through 46. If you have your Bible, please take it out. So you will know that I am not making anything up or whatever else. So to the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Let me say this. And you can let this go in one ear and out the other. I used to listen to many testimonies about heaven, about how heaven is and stuff like that. And there were many similarities to people's testimonies when they were talking about heaven. So the Bible really does not speak about exactly how heaven is going to be like many things so from what these people were saying and I continued to hear this over and over and over again everything in heaven is for free we all are going to be helping each other in heaven life how it is on earth it's not going to be how heaven, hmm, life on earth or life in heaven is not going to be the same way that it is on earth. Not even close. You know, on earth, you have to work for what you get for the most part. And people are really selfish and many people don't care about others. They only care about what they can get out of you and not what they can give back and stuff like that. It is not going to be that way in heaven. It is not. So if you if you have this selfish mentality now, how would you act when you get into heaven when you can't sell anything? you are going to be helping others. So if you have problems with helping people now and you are really selfish and you get really angry when you have to help people, how will you make it in heaven when we are going to be serving each other? So let's go to Matthew 25, 34 through 46. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So who is the king? Jesus, right? Okay. So he is going to say, Come ye, blessed of my father, which is God the father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Which is heaven, right? For you from the foundation. Hmm, come ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So he is going to say this to the people who was following his rules and regulations. Not this... As long as I believe in Jesus, I can do whatever I want to and I am still saved. No, not the once saved and always saved. No, the people who actively follows his rules and regulations. Okay, 35. Now, really pay close attention to what I am saying now. Because this is really going to help you. The American dream or get what you can to have a great life, that is not how life is supposed to be. We are here to serve God. In order to serve God, you have to serve people. Why do I say that? Because many things that God tells us to do, we have to help others. And by helping others, we are helping God. 
which many people don't want to hear because they are selfish. Many people are. It is insane. 35. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. So Jesus is speaking this to the people who have followed his rules and regulations. So he is saying, for I was hungry, and you gave me meat, so you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. So I was a stranger, meaning you did not know who I was in, or you did not know who I was, but you gave me a place to stay. 36. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. So this is saying, so Jesus is saying to the people who followed his rules and regulations, he said that he was naked, and they clothed him. He was sick, and they visited him. He was in prison, and they came to meet him. 37. Really pay close attention to what this is saying. Don't let it go through one ear and out the other because this is how we are supposed to live our lives. It is one thing to say that you love God, but if you don't love people, what you are saying is a lie. By loving people, you are showing that you love God and by following his rules and regulations. Okay. Give me a second, please. Okay. 37. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? So this is saying, the righteous people are going to say to him, or is saying to him, when did we see you hungry and thirsty and give you something to eat and something to drink? When did we do that for you? 38. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? So when did we see you as a stranger and take you in? And when did we clothe thee, or you? Like, when did we do this for you? Okay. 39. Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? So when did we come to you when you were sick in in prison Jesus this is what they are saying now the righteous the righteous people 40 who Lord and the king shall answer and say unto them verily I say unto you and as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren ye have done it unto me so when you do it unto people you are doing it unto Jesus. Jesus, I will do anything for you. I will give my life for you. But when it comes down to a regular person, hey, you have to work as hard as I. It does not work that way. It does not work that way. Even if a poor person is lazy, and they could work or whatever else, even if you were really poor and you had to work your way up to where you are at right now, you still have to help people. How can you say that you have the love of God within you, but you don't show it? How can you say that you have the love of God within you 
when no one can see it. If you have something within you, it is going to show. <laughs> I am not going to help people because they just have to do what I have done and I have had a hard life, so I deserve a big house and 20 cars and diamond rings on all fingers and stuff like that. I deserve that, Kevin. Look, man. <laughs> It is not a bad thing to get the things that you want in life. But if you are only thinking about yourself, what good is it? We are not on this earth for our selfish desires. We are on this earth to firstly give our lives to God. Then once we are right with God, we have to make sure that other people are right with God too. Like me, what good is it for me to be right, right with God, but I am not willing to help other people? What is the point of me knowing all of this information or, I guess with others, some of this information and not willing to help others with it? I can say that, hey, you know, for hours a day, I would research about God and stuff like that. So, hey, if you want to learn about God, you have to do it on your own because it took me a very long time to learn everything that I have learned. It does not work that way. Like I said, from the testimonies that I have heard about heaven, you have to share. <laughs> You are going to be serving other people. People want to be served, but they don't want to serve. You are selfish. I am serious. You are selfish. How can you say that you love God, but you want to help people out? It does not matter if they are in sin or if they are saved. You have to help, you have to do what you can do. I am not saying that you always have to help people with money. It is not all about money. Sometimes your time is worth more than money. Some people, some people that I have contacted just wanted to talk for a very long time. <laughs> Some people wanted to talk. So, you know, I sat there and they talked and talked and talked. Some people wanted my help where, you know, I had to come and pick them up and drive around and stuff like that. Some people want answers. So, you know, I would either text them or email them and give them answers. It is not all about money. Now, in some cases, if they are hungry or whatever else, yes, you may have to spend some money. But it is worth it by far. Because, look, my Lord, everything you have does not belong to you. And you may look at me crazy or say whatever, you know. Look, man, this is why I tell you to read the Bible more. And I am not saying that I understand all of the Bible, because I don't. But when you read the Bible more, it is going to open your understanding. What you have now does not belong to you. It is, a, it is the will of God that you have the things that you have now. So if someone gave something to you, Really understand what I am trying to say. Yes, if I gave you a cake, it is your cake right now. But if I did not give you the cake, you would not have that cake, right? Everything that we have has been given by God. So if we give what has been given to us, we are going to get more. You can say that you worked hard, 
and you have a bad back or bad arms and you sweat it and cried and blah 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 that may be true look you working hard is not what is giving you the things that you are receiving now because if God wanted to he can break your arm he can break your legs he can make you handicapped to the point where you can't work or he can fire you from every job that you apply to or receive what can you say then it would not matter how hard of a worker you are right think about that Let's say that you work very, very hard, very hard, and God gets the boss of every company to tell you no, like, no, we don't want you here. What can you say then? Well, I would just do something else. What if God disables every opportunity for you? What can you say? Well, that would not be fair, Kevin. My point is, everything that you receive have been given to you by God. So if you have been given things, and you know that God wants all of us, all of us, not just the rich, not just the halfway rich, even the poor. He wants all of us, poor, rich, whatever else, black, white, brown, all the colors. He wants all of us to help each other in some type of way. And it does not have to be about money every single time. I pray that this makes sense. So give me a second, please. So let's do a brief summary right quick. So let me see, where am I? I <laughs> uh, say unto them, very listen. So these people, the righteous people, was asking Jesus, hey, when do we give you something to drink? When did we give you something to eat? Or when did we visit you in prison and visit you while you were sick? When did we do all of these things? So in 40. Okay. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So what is that saying? This is saying, I think I read this. So when you do it, for regular people, you are doing it unto God. Let's go to 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. So on the left hand were the unrighteous, the people who believed that all they have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and they can sin as much as they like or the atheists and other people who believe in these false gods, the unrighteous. Then shall he say also, also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. So this is the unrighteous people. So Jesus is saying, Depart from me, leave me. Go straight to hell, pretty much. 42. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. So this is saying, 
I was hungry and thirsty, and you did not give me anything. What's up? 43. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in a prison, and ye visited me not. So this is saying to the unrighteous, I was a stranger, and you did not give me a place to stay. I was naked, and you did not give me any clothes. I was sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. 44. Then shall they also say, or then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in, in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? So when did we see you hungry, thirsty, a stranger, naked, sick, in prison? When did we see you in these ways and did not do anything for you? So this is what the unrighteous is singing in verse 44, 45. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily, I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. So this is saying, when you are not doing it for ordinary people, you are not doing it unto God. So when you do do it to ordinary people, you are doing it unto God as well. Do you understand what I am trying to say now? You can't say that you have the love of God within you when you are not showing people love. Okay. 46. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So that proves my point. We are here to help others, not so much to serve ourselves and our family. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.